forget can mm. you please give me any suggestions to prepare all right you graduated this year only uh, ah, yes, sir, 2022 all right all right now you are going to be preparing along with job right ah yes okay what's your branch mechanical engineering all right so see mechanical engineering a lot of material is available for free okay so ah. at least you can start with the free material okay ah. like where can i find free material if you go to one video that i made free study material over okay. there i have given links to the lecture series that i have made okay? okay so so you can find a lot of free material last time uh, how did you prepare for 2022 just appeared in the exam or did you prepare properly i prepared properly up to january sir okay. but i gave up in last one so one did take so any coaching or something for that no sir self hmm. preparation self preparation how did you prepare then uh, books or did you follow some lectures no sir i am watching some youtube videos huh. uh, last year i by heart the formulas uh, okay did so you solve previous year questions get ah uh, yes sir i solved only previous year questions all but ah uh, uh, yes sir all okay see you will require some proper lectures of people uh, who are properly teaching you chapter by chapter of the uh, yes. important subjects at least okay so first of all that is the syllabus completion stage that you'll have to complete the syllabus one subject after another subject so yes, as you're saying you are mainly focused towards 23 right ah uh, yes sir yeah so you have less time if you're starting from scratch so what have you been doing after gate 2022 did you study did you prepare no sir uh, i hmm. first uh, join the company hmm. so during okay, my okay. training period i focus on job hmm. only because in my i have financial problem all right uh, so so i'll tell you see oh, the amount of time that you are having is august september october november all right and yes, december sir. five months all right january you cannot consider much but uh, five months also you can do a lot so the way that we prepare for gate examination is first pick the major subjects okay, okay uh, for mechanical engineering since you are a mechanical engineer you can start with strength of material or you can start with thermodynamics or you can start with fluid mechanics whichever one is your favorite all right and okay. then you can gradually go to the other subject let us say you picked up strength of material then after that you'll finish th- uh, thermodynamics then you get into uh, let us say fluid mechanics then heat transfer and theory of machine then production so the subjects which are having higher weightage in examination from that we'll be starting all right and okay. gradually we'll move on to lesser weighted subject like um, hydraulic machines internal combustion engines power plant engineering all right okay. Uh-huh. So so make a plan like if you're starting from August then you can think about it like August September and October. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. These 3 months I want to mainly focus towards major subjects. So and in this uh, this amount of time you won't be able to do much other things like test series and all because okay. you are a little bit behind when it comes to starting. So I'm assuming that you'll have to start from zero, right? Uh-huh. Okay, the the sir. situation yes, that you are because you got 16 marks in last gate examination. Okay. Uh-huh. But Uh, hmm. due to the uh, yeah yeah tell me tell me calculation mm-hmm. that is calculator uh, i installed the calculator in mobile app ha uh-huh. ha but uh, uh, in examination it is laptop now yeah so yeah you have to use only mouse uh, due to that problem hmm. lot of time is uh, wasted yeah. for two problems uh, so i can't focus on understood understood problems. so you are saying that you completed syllabus uh, kind of like 50% or so for 2022 uh, yes, okay sir. Uh, See number one thing I'll say is that that is a very good tip that I give most of the people that when you are preparing for gate examination no use uh, that mouse because that is ah, what you are yes, going sir, to get finally you won't be able to touch and tap over there ah, right yes, so it's a different game completely right so this yes, time sir. you are going to be doing that okay by the cheapest mouse with the wire and all okay no fancy okay. thing and then practice using that but okay it's good if you have completed some part and it's good that you have uh, finished previous year questions which gives you an idea that what kind of questions can be asked but yes, as you were saying that uh, you have not gone through any lectures which are specific ah, yes, to gate examination so that's what you will be doing and that is what i was getting at see generally students will be requiring somewhere around 30 days to 45 days to complete one subject now you yes, have 5 months so at max you will be able to complete 6 7 subjects and there will be no revision and there will be no test series right so obviously yes, you will need to speed up the process so you are yes, looking sir. at somewhere close to 20 days one subject done 
so a subject like strength of material that people generally finish in 45 days you will need to finish it at max 20 to 25 days right yes, but you are yes, having sir. an advantage that you have prepared for gate before yes, sir. and like that you can speed in the process okay yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. all right so you are going to be doing uh, pretty quickly this august september and october try to finish five five major subjects and yes, then uh, in november and december you can focus more towards the minor subjects uh, mathematics and aptitude all right sir mathematics i study one week mm. i cover uh, most of the syllabus due to i am more uh, mm -hmm. interested in mathematics all right so i cover more part good 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 if if you are more interested in mathematics no then uh, finish yes, it up sir. parallelly you are you are yes, done sir. with mathematics let's go over yes sir that's all right all right then you do not need to worry and mathematics then if you are interested in mathematics aptitude is pretty much similar only lower level right okay. so you can uh, target uh, practicing aptitude somewhere on november and december that will be sufficient okay, okay. so like that make a plan and now okay. you need to look at it backwards so since you are starting in august no uh, yes, you sir. won't be able to give full length test series in december all right that is a uh, kind of impossible thing to do for you uh, if yes, you sir. if you start too soon then your preparation is not uh, up to the level and because of that you'll be performing poorly okay so yes, take a target that i'll be giving full length test series from first week of january all right okay. and okay. i have to give at least eight full length test series okay, okay. the okay. subject wise test series should start in november itself because okay. you have already finished few subjects in the 3 months the next 3 months that you will be doing it and those subject wise tests you can start giving from november give it in december that will act as a revision also sir, okay sir can i start topic wise test after completing my topics um okay. that will not be that beneficial see uh, when you are having limited amount of time especially this limited then yes, you get do it priority wise So my yes, highest sir. priority is always going to be full length test series. Without that, you will not be able to manage time in the examination. Okay. Yes, sir. Second oh. highest priority is going to be my subject wise test series. Third oh, yes. will be that topic wise. Topic wise test series did not used to be a thing until 2018. All right, they recently started introducing it. So, like I'm saying that if you are having time or you are finding out, okay, this particular topic is specially weak. then you will be yes. giving that particular but don't make a target like i'll be giving all the topic wise tests okay, uh, okay be confirmed that if you buy any uh, test series right now you will be missing out on at least 20 to 30% of the tests but you will have to make a decision that what is that 20% that you are missing out don't miss out on all the full length test series because you are giving subject wise test series all right or topic wise okay. test series so like that you'll have to make a plan right now focus on covering the ground because you will need some confidence as well that okay i have completed five major subjects and all i am doing right now is covering minor subjects which is going to take somewhere around 5 to 10 days each okay so yes, like that you'll have to make a plan and move ahead one by one always three things are important in any preparation your syllabus completion a revision and test series i've already talked about syllabus completion and test series a revision you'll be starting right after the first subject is over so let us okay. say you start uh, today with a particular subject let us say strength of material you will be done with it by 25th of august and then by uh, 1st september or so you'll start Uh, doing the revision i've talked about it in parallel revision go through it once okay okay or uh, sometimes for some subjects no when you are having just 4 months or 5 months and you want to prepare for it and do your best sometimes you'll have to cut down the parallel revision and jump yes. directly into cyclic revision have you watched these two videos yes sir i watched all right both of you okay good 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 so you understand what i'm trying to say sometimes yes, what will happen when you get to fifth subject sixth subject you will be already walking in november right so yes, you sir. do not have that uh, parallel revision i'll do after one month again i'll do cyclic revision you don't have that much time so in that case you directly jump into cyclic revision because again that is more important because that is revision on the basis of your weakness and working on your weaknesses okay Okay. So are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? This is what you do when you are having limited amount of time but still do the best, okay? Yes sir. All right. Anything else you want to ask? Are practicing questions uh, which uh, I should follow? Uh gate previous year questions, engineering services previous year questions, isro previous year questions, psu previous year questions. There's a lot. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to do all of them. All right? But that's the priority. First gate then engineering services, then isro then psus, okay? Okay sir. Yeah. Is that enough? 
Yeah, yeah, that's more than sufficient. Like I said, you won't be able to do it 100%. I'm pretty sure you won't even be able to do 100% of ESE. In that case, you will again need to pick up, uh, pick and choose subjects like um, the heat transfer and thermodynamics and strength of material are very similar in engineering services as it is in gate examination. So you'll start with that, right? By the time you get into production or uh, industrial engineering, you won't be having time. So you'll skip it most likely. That's what you do. So when you are having limited amount of time, all you need to do is prioritize and everything. When it comes to syllabus completion, you need to prioritize test series, prioritize practice. You have to prioritize. All right. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Understood. Yes, sir. All right. Anything else? No, sir. Thank you for giving me information. All right, Arun. So what you need to do is right now create a plan. Okay. Like yes, the five months that you are having and according.